Hi everyone. Before I start my presentation on culture construct, let me introduce myself. My name is Lobzung Yima and I'm from Bhutan. I'm studying Masters of Community Development. And uh, this is my third semester. So today uh, I'm going to talk about the culture construct, mainly focusing on culture values. So uh, culture value is one of the uh, culture construct because it creates abstract borrows among people of different demographic, ethnic and national groups. It gives identity to people and culture values are learned as a child. If I talk about uh, the culture values in Bhutan, though Bhutan is a very tiny country with significantly less population, it still has a various ethnic groups out of which major ones are Drupas at, uh, towards the west, uh, Shashop at the east and Hotsams at the south. These groups are distinctive of their language and different rituals. Regardless of the distinction all the people in Bhutan also share some culture values and principles as a Bhutanese. For example, we are taught to be kind and compassionate towards all the living beings or sentient beings. If not, we are told that we will go to hell after death. Well, having these values, I also got some exposures to some foreign values as a tourist guy in Bhutan. Though some of the values are passed down through generations in Bhutan, some are still developing or changing with regard to globalization and exposure to the outside world through social media, television, and traveling. Well, in my case, uh, I used to be a firm believer of respecting elders and not interfering with them while they are talking because of uh, which I used to be hardly involving my daughter in real life discussion. However, after coming to Australia, I have understood that I have understood the importance of age diversity in some conversation because of which now I even encourage my daughter to talk to us at times. Well, my migration here has not influenced my respect for my king, my understanding of the importance of living in harmony and targeting the victory of the group rather than just of an individual which I suppose has also been a similar experience of other Buddhist people. For example, a few weeks ago, uh, when one of our Buddhist fellow mates here had some financial issues, we started a donation to support the family. Similarly, uh, we even had donation collected to contribute to the government of Bhutan to help them during this pandemic. Moreover, the recent news about the uh, Uber Eats, Uber Eats driver, the uh, Bhutanese delivery man being humiliated while on duty has proven the importance of harmony in a Bhutanese mindset when he talked about everyone being humans deserves fair treatment. So this in the incidents shows that some of the culture values are deeply rooted, that it becomes difficult to change them or let them be influenced by exposure or experience of other culture. However, I have 
observe the influence of Australian culture values are cultural values are stronger in second generation immigrants to Australia as compared to someone like me who just recently arrived. My migration to Australia has taught me more than what I've learned about foreign culture as a tourist guide in Bhutan, making me more empathetic towards people from diverse communities, from diverse communities, but it has not influenced me as much as other Buddhist people who are second generation immigrants here. This is why I believe that regardless of the impacts and effects of the different culture, it is important as an individual living in this globalized era to be able to open-minded and to accept, to learn and adopt new better culture values. Thank you.